welcome to in five minutes let us quickly have a close look at this last expression that we have derived you can see that if m of t is equal to zero let's say if there is no modulating signal in that case instantaneous frequency is equal to the carrier frequency which suggests no change in the carrier frequency now let us say if you apply modulating signal which starts taking positive values in that case f also will be greater than fc because if m of t is positive that means f has to be greater than fc this means instantaneous frequency increases above fc and if i consider third case uh, in which let's say m of t is less than zero that means modulating signal is taking negative values then f has to be less than fc and this means that the frequency the instantaneous frequency now decreases below fc so you can see that the frequency will not remain constant and it will not just that it will not remain constant it will change in proportion to the modulating signal amplitude and this becomes nothing but the frequency modulation so the two conclusions that we make are number one in frequency modulation the frequency varies in proportion to the modulating signal amplitude and when the frequency is varying the phase also varies the phase does not remain constant but how does the phase varies the phase is going to vary in proportion to the integration of modulating signal so as you can see here the phase was proportional to the integration of the modulating signal and the second conclusion we make is that there are two ways in which i can generate fm signal the first is by changing frequency with respect to modulating signal amplitude uh, directly and second way in which i can generate fm signal is by changing phase but i need to change phase in proportion to integration of modulating signal so if the phase is in proportion to integration of modulating signal then automatically the frequency will be in proportion to the modulating signal amplitude directly and hence we will obtain frequency modulation